This session will be providing you a short introduction to what is public health. So if you use the words of Donald Hessen, public health is about the science and art of preventing disease, prolonging life and promoting health through the organized efforts of society. You may wonder about the you know, art and science. Public health is about the science and art of, uh, you know, disease. Why is it so? Do you think that, you know, uh, uh, you know, epidemiologist uh, looks at evidences, experience? It's very scientific. So there is a general agreement that there are many things we know. And there are many things we do not know. We are yet to know about unearth, you know, certain dimensions. So that is why in health we say, in any kind of a health, uh, you know, intervention should be an, you know, should be both science as well as an art. It is also about preventing disease. Or along with addressing a particular disease equal emphasis is being given to prevention of disease with active measures to protect the population or the protect the community from infectious diseases environmental hazards and for this they can have varying strategies they can use legislation or public health, say public health regulations or emergency planning procedures, coming up with, uh, you know, uh, measures uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to have proper surveillance so that, you know, the pattern of uh, the new outbreaks could be understood. The possibilities of potential threats to health could be uh, understood so that uh, you know, we can counter wherever possible. That is why, you know, we have this, uh, you know, immunization programs. Then, what is the second uh, dimension that the public health is aiming at? Prolonging life. Here, the emphasis is on Detecting and cure, you know, and detection and curing of a disease at an early stage, and uh, you know, thereby slowing down or reversing the effects of an established disease. Retains at the secondary and tertiary prevention. What is uh, secondary and tertiary prevention? For example, screening for cancers. This is something, you know, which is, um, uh, you know, very popular these days, either through the public health, uh, um, sort of primary health centers or many uh, hospitals and, or, you know, other agencies are actually conducting cancer screening. Why? Because an early uh, screening of it will actually slow down the reverse impact. And what about tertiary prevention? There could be many kinds of interventions or medications that help people to manage long-term conditions of uh, ailments like diabetes, stroke, or you know other mental health pro uh, you know problems. So any kind of intervention to uh, you know prevent them. Through either the examples could be a bypass surgery or the transplants or any other kind of medications. All comes under tertiary prevention. So th this particular slide will give you a little more clarity about the three levels of prevention. 
primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary prevention is about preventing the onset of a disease. You know, examples could be immunization or having no smoke areas. A secondary prevention could be about detecting and curing a disease at an early stage before that uh, results in an irreversible pro uh, you know, issue. Cancer screenings. And the tertiary prevention is about minimizing the effects and reducing or slow down, slowing down of the progress of an already established irreversible disease. Now, with this understanding, you need to go back to the earlier, you know, definition on public health. Science and art of preventing disease, prolonging life and promoting health through organized efforts of society. A bit on promoting health. Who is responsible for promoting health? The promotion of health focuses on improving the health by addressing or tackling the health inequalities and supporting community development and healthy lifestyles. It includes efforts at the individual, community and population level to improve the health and well-being of people. Or from a public health perspective, it is a commitment to, com to a comprehensive intervention to enhance health as a progressive program. So, with this in mind, when we look at public health, it includes all the activities that a society undertake to assure uh, that the community or the people could be healthy. At, and it includes the organized community effort to prevent identify and counter threats to the health of the public. In the Dictionary of Public Health, John M. Last says that public health is one of the efforts organized by society to protect, promote and restore people's health. So you need to uh, remember the emphasis on the community, the people, you know, in general. So, uh, it includes, you know, all kinds of programs or services or institutions that aims at emphasizing the prevention of disease and addressing the health needs of the population as a whole. It involves a large number of agencies, starting from the health team to the community to an individual. So the collective social action is something intrinsic to the very idea of public health. That is where we consider this as a combination of sciences, skills and beliefs which is directed to the maintenance and improvement of the health of the community. The primary goal of public health is to reduce the amount of disease, 
reduce the rate of premature death, mitigate the disease-produced discomfort and disability in the population. The score, uh, you know, goal remains the same, although the public health strategies or activities change in accordance with the changing technology or the, uh, you know, social values of the particular culture. See, when you think about the public health systems, which includes all these diverse actors, hospitals, uh, doctors, community centers, uh, laboratory facilities, mental health uh, beings, hmm? then environment health dimension, uh, the policy makers, uh, you know, the religious institutions, the community centers, and all, uh, you know, kinds of, uh, you know, uh, uh, community se uh, sectors. So in, in that way, we can think of uh, public health as a social institution, a discipline, and a practice. It's having, uh, you know, three, uh, you know, major components. Public health systems have the responsibility of assessing the health of the community, developing policies in the interest of the public, and primarily assuring the public, uh, you know, the public health of the community. But please remember, when we think about the responsibilities and the public health approach, people like us also will come, uh, you know, in the picture. So it's a collective responsibility of ensuring uh, you know, the health of the community. Again, um, you know, a short summary about the domains of public health. When we think about health protection, it includes addressing infectious disease, addressing chemical and poison radiation, addressing emergency responses, addressing environmental health hazards. It also uh, you know, have to uh, look into improving services. Starting with enhancing the effectiveness and efficiency of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, clinical domain. Ensuring a proper clinical governance that ensures equity. It also includes the service planning, audit and evaluation. And health improvement is, uh, you know, another larger domain. How would we address uh, inequalities and uh, aspects of exclusion? How about, you know, addressing, uh, you know, the family and community dynamics? How would we create, you know, edu education and awareness among people? That is why it includes lifestyle advice and surveillance, uh, monitoring of specific diseases, monitoring of risk factors, and having a proper mechanism of, you know, communicating the same to multiple stakeholders.
in order to understand the roles of public health system we need need to go back to the world health organizations ottawa charter for health promotion which came up in the year 1986 this charter focuses on building healthy public policies creating supportive environments strengthening community action developing personal skills and reorienting health services to to aim at health for all it is in this context you know we'll very briefly discuss about the essential public health functions an effective public health system should have or you know these um, you know uh, should carry out these essential functions monitor the health status to identify community health problems diagnose and investigate health problems and health hazards in the community inform educate and empower people about health issues mobilize community partnerships to identify and solve health problems develop policies and plans which support individual and community health efforts don't also include enforcing laws and regulations to protect health and ensure safety and mechanisms to link people to needed personal health services and assure the provision of health care when otherwise unavailable it is very much important uh, um, uh, you know to assure the a competent public health care workforce enough infrastructure and uh, adequate personnel is a prerequisite there should be mechanisms to evaluate effectiveness accessibility and quality of personnel and population based uh, health services there should be more and more research for the new insights and innovative solutions to health problems then only you know we can think about public health as something that prevents epidemics and spread of disease something that protects against environmental hazards something that prevent injuries something that promotes and encourages healthy behaviors something that respond to disasters and assists communities in recovery and assures the quality and accessibility of health services and now with this idea of public health in mind we'll try and see how the public health system in india functions <laughs>